Now, after having discussed about the purine analogs, now let me discuss about the pyrimidine analogs. Right, let me discuss about the pyrimidine analogs. Now, if you take this pyrimidine analogs, remember drugs in this group include number one, cytarabine. Right, drugs in this group include the cytarabine that is nothing but cytosine arabinoside. Right, cytosine arabinoside. And the other drugs are 5-fluorouracil and the other drugs are capacitabine, right, capacitabine. This is the another drug under the pyrimidine analog. Next we have what is called as gemcitabine, right, another important drug which is called as the gemcitabine. And then we have 5 azacitidine right 5 azacitidine and the other drug it includes decitabine right the other drug it includes decitabine so these are the pyrimidine analogs now let me tell you one important point regarding the cytarabine remember cytarabine is the single most effective agent for the induction of remission in acute myeloid leukemia right it is the single most agent which is used for induction of remission right which is used for the induction of remission in acute myeloid leukemia now if you take this cytarabine cytarabine is activated by kinases to form arabinoside ctp arabinoside ctp it is an inhibitor of the dna polymerase okay so this is activated by kinases right this is activated by kinases and once it is activated by kinases it forms what is called as arabinoside ctp right it forms what is called as the arabinoside ctp the arabinoside ctp it is an inhibitor of the dna polymerase right it is an inhibitor of the dna polymerase now whenever you give high dose of cytarabine that can lead to the neurotoxicity so high dose of this cytarabine will lead to what is called as the neurotoxicity now what is this particular neurotoxicity associated with the high dose of the cytarabine is it can cause ataxia and it will also cause what is called as the peripheral neuropathy. So remember ataxia and peripheral neuropathy is the neurotoxicity whenever you give cytarabine in high doses. Next, let me tell you about the 5-fluorouracil. 5-fluorouracil, it is converted into 5-DUMP which will inhibit thymidylate synthase. Okay, so if you take the 5-fluorouracil remember this 5 fluorouracil this is converted into 5 uridine monophosphate and this 5 uridine monophosphate this is the one that inhibits thymidylate synthase or thymine synthase now its major route of metabolism is by conversion to carbon dioxide and elimination by respiratory pathway so this 5 fluorouracil the major route of metabolism is by conversion right it is by conversion to the carbon dioxide and this particular carbon dioxide is eliminated by respiratory pathway all right it is eliminated by the respiratory pathway next you take the other drug that is capacitamine Capacitabine, it is an oral prodrug of the 5-fluorouracil, right? It is an oral prodrug of the 5-fluorouracil. And the disadvantage of this particular capacitabine or the adverse effect is, this particular capacitabine, it can cause hyperbilirubinemia, right? It can cause hyperbilirubinemia. Now, now we have the thiopurines 
right what were your thiopurines that is 6 mercaptopurine and 6 thioguanin they are metabolized by thiopurine methyl transferase whereas 5 fluorouracil that is your pyrimidine analog this is catabolized by dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase okay so remember this this particular 5 fluorouracil this is catabolized by right catabolism in the sense it is a breakage so it is catabolized by a substance which is called as dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase that is dpd so dpd stands for dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase so remember both thiopurine methyl transferase that is tpmt and dpd they have pharmacogenetic deficiencies in some of the persons okay so both dpd and as well as the other substance that is tpmt there can be right there can be pharmacogenetic deficiencies in some of the persons next now remember you take your capacitabine and as well as the 5 fluorouracil this capacitabine and 5 fluorouracil Capacitabine and 5 fluorouracil it can cause the hand and foot syndrome right this can cause the hand and foot syndrome the hand and foot syndrome it is a form of the erythromelalgia right it is a form of the erythromelalgia now this particular erythromelalgia is manifested as right it is manifested as tingling right manifested as numbness manifested as pain right manifested as the erythema or it can be manifested as the swelling and as well as increased pigmentation right and as well as the increased pigmentation all right so that is what is the adverse effect associated with the 5 fluorouracil and as well as the capacitabine now remember you take the 5 fluorouracil there is a substance which will augment the action of the 5 fluorouracil and what is that substance which will augment the action of the 5 fluorouracil that is your leucovorin leucovorin will augment the action of the 5 fluorouracil now this 5 fluorouracil it causes the single strand breaks and thus affect both the dna and as well as rna all right five fluorouracil it can cause the breakage of the dna and as well as rna how because it can cause the breakage of the single strands okay so five fluorouracil remember it can cause single strand break and thereby it breaks both rna right it breaks both the rna and as well as dna now you take this drug that is gemcitabine right you take this drug gemcitabine remember gemcitabine is a very potent radio sensitizer right gemcitabine this is a potent radio sensitizer now if you take the uses of gemcitabine remember gemcitabine is the drug of choice for pancreatic carcinoma right it is the drug of choice for pancreatic cancer next you take this drug that is 5-azacytidine 5-azacytidine it acts by dna hypomethylation and it is approved for the treatment of myelodysplasia so what is the mechanism of action of this particular 5 azacytidine it will cause what is called as dna hypomethylation now by causing dna hypomethylation and where is this drug used this is used in the treatment of myelodysplasia right used in the treatment of the myelodysplasia now lastly we have what is called as decitabine decitabine is another drug acting by the same mechanism that is dna hypomethylation so this is completely about your the pyrimidine analogs 
So let me shortly revise about the pyrimidine analogs. If you take the drugs in your pyrimidine analogs, they include cytarabine, that is cytosine arabinoside. We have 5 fluorouracil, capacitabine, gemcitabine, 5 azacitidine, and as well as decitabine. Let me talk about the individual drugs. The cytarabine is the single most effective agent for the induction of the remission of acute myeloid leukemias. And cytarabine is activated by kinases to form arabinoside CTP. And remember, this arabinoside CTP, it is an inhibitor of the DNA polymerase. And whenever you are giving high dose of cytarabine, that can lead to neurotoxicity, which is nothing but ataxia and peripheral neuropathy. And this 5-fluorouracil, you take the next drug, that is 5-fluorouracil, it is converted into 5-DUMP, that is uridine monophosphate, and that inhibits thymine synthase. And its major route of metabolism is by conversion to carbon dioxide and elimination by the respiratory pathway. Next, you take this capacitabine. Capacitabine is an oral prodrug of the 5-fluorouracil and the adverse effect is this can cause increase in the bilirubin levels that is hyperbilirubinemia. Next, you take thiopurines that is 6-mercaptopurine and 6-thioguanine, they are metabolized by thiopurine methyl transferase whereas the 5-fluorouracil is catabolized by dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase that is your DPD and both TPMT and as well as the DPD. They have pharmacogenetic deficiencies in some of the persons. Next, you take this capacitabine and 5-fluorouracil, the adverse effects both of them they can cause is the hand and foot syndrome. That is, it is a form of erythromyalgia which is manifested as tingling, numbness, pain, erythema, swelling and increased pigmentation. Next, if you want to increase the action of the 5-fluorouracil, you give leucovirin, leucovirin augments the action of the 5-fluorouracil and this 5-fluorouracil causes single strand breaks and thus affects both DNA and as well as RNA. And you take gemcitabine, the other drug, gemcitabine is a very potent radio sensitizer and this is the drug of choice for pancreatic cancer. Next, you take 5-azacitidine. This acts by the DNA hypomethylation and it is approved for the treatment of the myelodysplasia. And next you take decitabine. Decitabine is another drug, it is acting by the same mechanism. Now let me tell you some of the distinctive toxicities. Right, let me tell you some of the distinctive toxicities of the anti-metabolites. Right, distinctive toxicities of anti-metabolites. Now, you take the drugs that is 6 mercaptopurin and as well as 6 thioguanin. Both of these drugs they are associated with the hepatotoxicity. Right, both of these drugs they are associated with the hepatotoxicity. Next, you take methotrexate. Methotrexate is the drug which is associated with the development of mucositis and as well as the hepatotoxicity. Right, mucositis and the hepatotoxicity. Next, you take the substance that is 5-fluorouracil, which is a pyrimidine analog. 5-fluorouracil, it is associated with hand and foot syndrome. Right, hand and foot syndrome. And apart from hand and foot syndrome, it will also cause the neurotoxicity. Right, it will also cause the neurotoxicity. Next, you take capacitabine. Right, you take the other drug that is capacitabine. If you take this capacitabine, this capacitabine will also cause the hand and foot syndrome, right, will also cause the hand and foot syndrome and not only that, it will also increase the bilirubin levels, that is hyperbilirubinemia. Next, you take the other drug, that is cytarabine. Cytarabine is the drug which is associated with the cerebellar toxicity. Right, which is associated with the cerebellar toxicity that is it will cause cerebellar ataxia where there is an imbalance while walking. Next you take the drug that is fludarabine. So if you see this fludarabine this is associated with the pain within the joints that is arthralgia. Right pain within the joints that is arthralgia. 
next we have the drug which is called as gemcitabin so if you take this gemcitabin gemcitabin is the one which is associated with the adverse effect that is diarrhea right associated with the adverse effect that is diarrhea so these are some of the distinctive toxicities of the anti metabolites 6 mercaptopurine and 6 thiogyanin causes hepatotoxicity methotrexate causes mucositis and hepatotoxicity 5 fluorouracil will cause hand and foot syndrome and neurotoxicity capacitabine causes hand and foot syndrome and hyperbilirubinemia cytorubine causes cerebellar ataxia fludarabine causes arthralgia and gemcitabine causes diarrhea